just what are your thoughts on uh, Bobby Knight's passing and his and just um, your thoughts on Coach Knight? Well, I've had a um, interesting relationship with Coach Knight over the years. I think the first time I coached against him was 1988. Um, and after the game, he sent somebody out to the hotel to pick me up, to take me to where he was. And um, um, that was thrilling for me. Was, you know, I was the head coach at Washington State when I was only 31 years old. And um, he liked the way my team played. He liked the way I coached my team. Um, he was very complimentary. Um very kind, um, gave me really good advice. He's one of those guys I looked up to as a young coach. And then um, played him in the NCAA tournament, probably I, I would say in the early 90s maybe. Um, and then we were in the same league together. So I played him a lot, two or three times a year when he was at Texas Tech and I was at Oklahoma. But, you know, when I was a young coach growing up, uh, there was there was two guys that I think probably influenced my generation more than anyone else, and that was Dean Smith and uh, Coach Knight. Um, John Thompson, I would put him in there uh, as well. Um, I don't think John Wooden uh, was so much. You know, John Wooden was an extremely, extremely gifted coach but I couldn't relate to him because of his talent. You know, um, you know, he had Lou Alcindor and Bill Walton, and I couldn't see how I couldn't see how I could uh, emulate or copy any of his stuff. But Coach Knight was an everyman's coach. You know, uh, his discipline, uh, his toughness, uh, the things he demanded. Um, I ate that stuff up. You know, I, I was in the Big Ten uh, at Michigan State as a grad assistant, so I got to see him up close and personal when he had Isaiah. Um, so he's a, um, <laughs> you know, just I, I just I'm, I'm I'm picturing all my interactions with him, which was, yeah, you know, we I, you'd have to look up our our uh, coaching records, how many times we coached each other. I can't. I can't um, a lot. I, I just can't come up with a number on top of my head. But but he was he was funny too. He had an unbelievable sense of humor. Uh, we always uh, would go to the Broadmoor in Colorado Springs for our head coaches meetings in the Big Twelve. And um, Coach Knight didn't say a whole lot until the referee commissioner came in, and then it was just pure entertainment. He'd have that guy sweating bullets. He'd have his, uh, he'd start looking at where the referees were rated and want to know about this guy, this guy, and this guy. He wanted to blackball these guys. He wanted these guys. I mean, he just, and then he loved Mr. Good Bars. They'd have a big old candy dish there with all those little, little candies, you know, the miniature things, which is why Halloween is the most underrated holiday ever. You're a candy buff. Love Halloween, um, especially with those little Rolos. Those things are so underrated. Uh, baby Ruth. But anyway, uh, Coach Knight was a Mr. Good Bar, too. So he'd take the candy dish and dump it out and take his index finger and, and start pulling all the Mr. Good Bars over toward him. And he'd put the rest back in a jar and push it to the middle of the table and... Um, you know, he's he, he was just uh, – I mean, you when you're a coach, you know people other than – you know, you guys see them from afar and can only guess. And so you, you, you write from a uh, disadvantage, you know, what you think you know. And most of the times uh, – you, you could be right, but most times you're wrong because you, you really don't know him. Um, I mean, I've played golf with him, set meetings with him, um, had meals with him. All of those things. Um, he he was so smart, interesting, intimidating, 
dynamic. Um, but above all, he was a coach. He was a coach's coach. He's a coach we all we, we all, all tried to copy something from, just like Dean Smith. Um, and I'm I'm thankful he came at a time he came along at a time when I was a young coach, um, you know, looking for guidance. And Coach Knight was one of those guys that didn't need to talk to you to guide you. Just watch him work, and you and you would uh, your respect your respect level for him goes off the uh, uh, goes off the um, uh, off the chain. I mean, he was he was special. He was a special ball coach. Not many like him. <laughs>